Hi, everybody. What's good? I'm trying to get it. <laughs> Let me get myself together. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, as a reminder, hi, I'm Carmen. <laughs> for those that don't know me, most of you here, I think, do know me. Let me pull up the comments, see who's in the building. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Shishi. Don't handle my commercial. All right, y'all. So today we are just working on the muslin for Erica Bunker's uh, Nomi Pattern ME2065. Super excited about this. Um, normally I don't make muslins. Y'all know normally I'm a wearable muslin kind of girl, but for this pattern, y'all, this is this a pattern you don't want to kind of like get to the end and feel like, you know what, you don't like the way it fit, fits or whatever. Um, I cut the 14. So I cut the 14 for this pattern. It feels weird not being up there with you. Listen, you could have been up here with me, Shishi. You could have been up here with me, girl. No, I know you're at work tonight, right? You're at work. Anyway, girl, you can come back up here whenever you're ready. I'll be on here on Saturday if you're available and not doing that testing. Um, Let me get a better picture. All right, y'all. So I, again, I'm working on Erica's pattern tonight. So we're just doing the blazer um, and... I'm cutting out quite a bit. So since this is just a muslin and I am using muslin fabric, I'm just using regular white muslin fabric that I got from Joanne. Um, since we're just doing the muslin, I'm going to be marking this all up, taking notes, figuring out, uh, you know, if I like to fit in certain areas and not, um, not doing the lining either. Um, again, just figuring out general fit and because I really should be doing the 16 y'all, but I don't want to open a new pattern. I'm not opening it up. So I'm thinking about if I can get away with number one, the 14, if I use like a stretch woven, which I plan on using anyway, or if I sew at a quarter inch seam allowance. Tonight, I'm actually going to stick with like the, the half inch or the um, five eighths. But if it's too small, I'll be able to determine like, okay, if I take it out just a quarter of an inch on each, you know, on all sides, will I be able to get away with it? Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining um so yeah we're gonna get started again this is just a quick and i'm going to be doing everything at a basting stitch um so we're gonna speed right through this i don't want to say speed so as a reminder this is a four-part series so this is uh i'm going to be on tonight i'm going to be on again tomorrow night at seven from seven to nine i'm trying to do like two and three hour increments i don't want to be on here for too long saturday i'll again be on here with seven maybe she she join me if she's not too busy she should finish this in a day. She'll finish this in an hour. Uh, but me, I need time. And then again, I'll be on next Wednesday night at uh at seven o'clock again. So Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Wednesday of next week. So hopefully you guys will get some insight in it for your own process. Also, another place that I need to like practice, I need to practice my collars. It's another reason I'm doing this muslin. I need to practice my collars, my notch. This does have a, let me show you a picture. This does have like a notch lapel. Yes, you can see it has like a notch lapel on it. I'm not that comfortable with like well pockets, but you know, we're going to push through. So this doesn't have this one or two well pockets. This has the three. This has three, but she, she gave us a little break on the pants. The pants don't have all those notch lapels and uh, well pockets. So it's like, you're good. You're good to go. So the top is where, you know, you'll find a lot of the, uh, it will challenge you. It will challenge you if you're not used to making a tailored blazer. Um, I think that's about it. I think we can get started. It is just one button. I think we can, I don't think we do a buttonhole. I think we kind of construct our own buttons with like how we sew in like that center front area. Um, I did watch this sew along, so don't worry if you need guidance, more guidance. Erica does have a sew along. I believe it's on her channel. Um, I'll include a link to that when uh, I get off of here. I forgot to do that in my initial description. And then, yeah, we know what the back is giving. The back is giving all out. Oh, I'm a little bit worried about the little under boob, but you know, I ain't afraid of it. I ain't never been afraid to have a little uh, under boob hanging. Um, that's another reason I feel like I need the 16, but we'll see. Um, a lot of people were a huge fan of this hat right here. Um, but I think because of the under boob, I don't know if we would have to create something else 
we will have to figure out what a good connection point is going to be for this hat. Um, so I'll figure that out another time. Um, again, just just constructing, just general construction tonight. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, I can't believe she's 50. Listen, she looks stunning. She looks stunning. I think Erica said she's 52, 53. Not to be putting her business out, but she told us. Yeah, she, Erica's like, she looks like she's about 35. She looks like she's about 35, but yeah, Erica's in. Yeah, she's like 52, 53. Amazing. Amazing. All right, y'all. So let's start off with these darts. Y'all know how I feel about darts. We're going we gonna to run right through them. We're going to run right through them like a tumor. She's 53? Yeah, she looks stunning. Stunning. All right, y'all. So let's get into it. Um, Y'all make sure y'all tell her that. Okay. And y'all make sure y'all... So the front bodice has... Child. So that's another place where we can let it out. That's another place we can let, out, let it out. So we have a dart here. Did I do my markings? No. And we also have a dart right here by the lapel. So if you need another point where you need to let out the pattern, that might be another opportunity for us to let it out. Um, but again, my method tonight is going to be not... The, it's a muslin. It's a muslin. So again, we're going for general fit, not perfection. We'll worry about that when it comes to the uh, do the blazer itself. But, uh, yeah, Shisha, you should come on here. Hey, Katrina's hey, boo. Yes, thank you. Please, please, please click the thumbs up. Click the thumbs up. Please, please, please. I appreciate y'all. So let's vibe out. So we're going to work on the, fr the first, the bodice. Hey, Kay. What are you saying, Katrina? All right. And the great thing about muslins, like, I used to do them all the time in school. <laughs> now, not so much. Um, you can, like, literally write notes on it. You can write notes on what you're doing, which is what I love to do. Um, I'm just making some general dots here. Is anybody else sewing tonight? Is anybody else sewing? So I am again. This is just a regular marker. I don't care. I'm not worried about it. Those stuff not being able to go away because why? It's a buzzlet, y'all. It's a buzzlet. It's the point of a buzzlet. So I'm just transferring my markings because I didn't have time to do it before I came on here. All right. Hi, Sin. You're not, well, why not? Shamir, why are you letting people out like that on your latest post? I said, girl, Shamir ready to fight these folks. I'm a big sis going to have to come. You doing, uh, I mean, 52, Nikki's uh, button, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You text me about that, um, Lisa. All right, y'all, we are doing... I'm not gonna worry about uh girl. And they come to fight, just just hit me up if they come to tussle. Just hit me up. Like Carmen ain't coming for me. So I'm gonna have to give you the speech, like, well, you did kind of come for them first. And then we can, you know, go at them if we needed to. Hi, Diane. How are you? I had to come to my boyfriend's house to, oh. Uh, oh, well, why are you on here if you supposed to be spending time with your man, girl? <laughs> Can you go spend time with your man? I don't want, I tell all my friends, don't have your man hating me or BSN because you ain't spending time with him. You can leave. You can leave this running though. You can leave this run, this live running while you go spend time with him. So go spend time with him. And you know, come back when you can. But he ain't gonna be cursing me out because you ain't over there. Lord, you know it's hard to find a man. It's I ain't called no names. You mad? No, I ain't mad because I knew exactly who you was talking about, babes. Babes, <laughs> I knew you was talking about. Say <laughs> like, no, no, I didn't. I don't care. 
you know, my, my motto is a hit dog gonna go holler. You know what I'm saying? So if it don't apply, let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. That's how I feel, but. <laughs> Either way, I love the looks. I love the looks. The looks were very cute. Thank you. All I say all that to say, I loved your looks. Um, so yeah, keep it up. All right, y'all. Let's do the first. Uh... Again, we're doing a very rough. Trying to find that point. Hi, Belinda. All right, y'all, let's do some darts. I didn't really properly mark my darts, but again, we are just literally making a muslin today. I'm increasing my stitch to 4.0. One dart in. Thank you, D. You know what? I can't do I You know what? I'm taking it down because I don't want it to gather stitch, so I'm going to take it down. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Going through that dart one more time. Originally, my plan was to base, uh, but we're not going to base it. We're going <laughs> to use a regular stitch because... Then we're going to do the second dart. Okay. All right. Hello, Michael. Michael, you are your Cheesecake Factory. I thought you was going to Cheesecake Factory today. Appreciate you being here. And I know he like, ma'am. I know I'm waiting for it. Ain't today your Cheesecake Factory day, sir? Ain't today your Cheesecake Factory day, girl, sir? Don't let me. Y'all better not get me in trouble with your situations. Child, I'm just here. I'm just here not to trying to cause any any beef. I didn't do any design yet. This is just I'm just doing a rough cut of the uh design the design as is. I actually, you know what design I actually like? Everybody likes that bow. But here's actually my favorite. Um, I much I much more like that razorback moment. I that's more my speed uh, versus what everybody else likes. Like I probably won't do anything to the blazer itself. I feel like, oh, I can already tell this about the be. And I like this one as well. That's more of my speed. I know y'all like the bow, but I think this one is more of my vibe. But y'all can do what y'all want. That's me. That's just me. Yeah. The, the bow wasn't really... Yeah, y'all like the bow. Everybody, like, most people voted on the bow, but I was like, the bow is so kind of like... 
about all right y'all so here's what we're working with so far can y'all kind of see i can already see my my tie is about to be out my whole entire tea is about to be out of here y'all well not Let's do the other side. I definitely, we're going to see where that hits on my boob. I'm going, I have on a, a, a bra. So y'all, hey, Auntie Carrie. Hey, T. Yeah, I, the tie ties is going to be out, y'all. They going to be out, y'all. So, you know, just, just. We got, I'm just preparing for the alternative now. Like, it's going to be okay. I thought somebody, you know what? I thought, put some cuffs in, girl. Them cuffs don't be doing nothing for me. I am going to, what I'm probably going to do is, if I don't do the razor back, like, if I just want to wear it as is, I will probably make a power mesh bodysuit. Power mesh definitely holds the girls up for me um love power mesh there's a spot and in, in all but all power mesh ain't created equally i do like the power mesh at joanne they just don't have my complexion color if you were in the philly area though if you were in philly gabsy sells it but 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 hey april gabsy sells it but fleischman got the best power mesh in the city hands down if you are in philly I would highly recommend going to Fleischman. Um, that's in South Philly on uh, on Fabric Row. That is my favorite uh, place to get power mesh, even above uh, Joanne. And they only charge $9 a yard. And Fleischman does, uh, they do shit. And they have the, not number one, they, they their power mesh has the best support, in my opinion. And their power mesh is tape. The tape don't be working. I would have to use a get a power mesh bodysuit, and I would have to um power mesh bodysuit, and I would have to uh and use the tape. So I would have to do both. So for me, I'm gonna tell y'all what works best for these. Because number one, gravity ain't been kind, okay? Gravity ain't been kind. I'm, I'm of a particular age, so they sitting at my at my knees when I don't have on a bra. It, you know what I'm saying? You know how them, how, how grandmas be had, You know how your grandmama used to have her? Yeah, that's how mine's sitting right now. It was cool and perky in my 20s. <laughs> Started to droop in my 30s. And now, now that I'm 60, baby, in my 60s, they droop to the ground. But you know, you embrace it. You embrace it, okay? <laughs> Somebody gonna be like, Carmen, you 60? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all be believing everything I said. Yeah, I'm 60. You know, a 60. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm doing the second dart. Hold on. I'm you know it's six. I'm just saying, say. I'm just saying, girl. At 60, you know, we out here just making doing the best we can with what we got. We doing the best we can with what we got, sis. Okay, because I was like, that is not matching up. Listen, if something don't look right. Follow your gut and go back into that pattern piece and find out what's happening. With I know, I am. I know. God, black don't crack. Black don't crack. <laughs> oh, you think I'm fifty, Diane? Okay, girl. Okay. Damn, <laughs> Diane said, "Girl, you 50? Sure. I'm, okay. Well, that's different. <laughs> I don't take offense to that, though. I'm not fifty, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be I'll be 75 next year. <laughs> Diane said, Carmen, you look good for 50. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, though. I know. She, she Diane straight came from my neck. She said, I was gonna say you look like you 50. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> No, that's cool. 
That means I need to drink more water. That's all that means. That all that means. I just need to drink more water. <laughs> I need to drink. I just need to drink more water. It's, it's okay, Diane. Don't even be a fit. No, I did say that, Diane. I be lying, Diane. Don't listen to me, girl. Don't listen to me. It's okay. I make up an eight every day. It's okay. <laughs> Diane was like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying what you said, Diane. I be talking all the time. It's okay, Diane. I appreciate you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just playing with you. I, I talk crazy all the time. Next, you gonna say I'm eighty? No, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say all that. I ain't gonna say all that. I ain't gonna. Diane was like, but that's what you said. <laughs> I never thought you'd be I do be saying that, Diane. I do. All right, forty-one. Since D want to be all up in my business. All right, y'all. All right, so both the pieces are constructed together. This is what we're working with. Okay. Did we die? We did not die. We did not die. Okay. We're ready to move on. We're ready to move on. I one of y'all need to be doing this with me. One of y'all need to be doing this with me. One of y'all need to be doing this with me. Okay. All right. So I even, y'all, look at what I did. Look at what I did for this live. I even tried to um highlight the parts that I was like, you know, stay organized. Like, are oh, these the parts you definitely need to do? All right. So next we are going, and I stopped there. I need to do more, but I was like, oh, I'm done. I'll figure it out tomorrow. All right. So next we're going to uh stay stitch the back the shoulder seams okay we're jumping from number two to number six for the body so okay i did do the darts i did do the darts lord here goes she she here goes she she y'all oh god all right so next we're going to do you know we're going to do the back opening we're going to do the back opening okay the, um dang you need to be working on your pattern so you can release that you need to be focusing on your pattern so you can release that okay focus that needs to be the focus, okay? <sighs> All right. So this is the back opening part. This is the exciting part, y'all. You get the ones with the top. You get the ones at the top, too, by the collar. What you mean, girl? What you mean? All right, y'all. So this is the back. This is the opening. This is the fun part. This is the fun part, right? So we're going to stitch down the center back, okay? Girl, yeah, you need to. That's that's where your focus needs to be. That's where your focus needs to be. All right, I did cut two of these because I kind of want. I did get the ones at the top. Why y'all trying to act like I ain't get the ones? Uh, yes, I got both the darts. Okay. Yes, I know. I know you a pro, Shamir. I did. There go the one at the top. There go the one at the bottom. Okay, there go the one by the lapel. That helps the lapel go back. And there's the one at the bottom. I got a both. I got it's hard to see because this is a white. It's hard to see because this is a white. All right, so I got the back open. Okay, that's how I was looking. I kind of want to do a facing on this already. So I'm just going to finger press that open. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna face this. Even though I'm not supposed to, I'm gonna face this. I'm gonna face it because I just, 
I want to, and this, I don't think it's going to take that much. Um, so this is what the lining piece will be. So you are supposed to cut four, even though I'm not, I'm not doing the lining, I kind of want to give that a finished look anyway. Totally not necessary for your muslin, but I just kind of, I'm, I'm getting the urge to do it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I want to. That's my business. That's my business. <laughs> because I got all four darts. Okay. Is anybody going out with their boo today? Like, I didn't expect to be 36 of y'all. Y'all not hanging out with y'all boo? I appreciate y'all being here, though. I appreciate that. Don't get me wrong. I ain't, I ain't trying to get y'all to go out. You said your what? Ah! I'm about to say, y'all my booze. I call y'all my booze every day. Every day. Not, not just saying, oh, what? Well, <laughs> Laura, you crazy. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick facing. I'm doing, even though it's not necessary again for the muslin, I just kind of want to. That's my business. Did you buy the pattern, Lauren? Did you get it yet? Or you're still you're still trying to you trying to see what other people are doing? Again, this isn't necessary for the muslin. I'm just doing it because. Let me see how they want us to finish this in the end. In the end of things. Stay sit. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to see how they ultimately want us to finish this. So I'm thinking that they still want us to do this at, oh, at five base. Okay. Still five base. Okay. Hey, Kay. Where y'all see Carol? And which Carol? It's like 50 of them. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all for being here on a Wednesday night on a hump day of all days. I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you so much. See you now, Auntie Carol. Whoop, Auntie Carol, calm down. Auntie Carol, did you get this pattern? Did you get it from the last sale? Did you get it from the last sale? Building your online Go to Wix.com and set up your store on a single integrated platform. So we know the queen of tailoring up in here now. The queen of tailoring up in here. Thank you for doing this series. I'm Top heavy and interesting. Listen, <laughs> Lauren, I had no choice. I also had to do it because I kind of, I kind of laid y'all out about doing this pattern. So I was like, you know what? I can't lay them out about doing this pattern and then I do it myself. 
I kind of went in on the channel. I know I did. I know I did, but it was in love. It was in love. It was in love. <laughs> yeah, I don't do backlist too often, but we had to support, you know, we had to support a sister, you know? But you can at least do the, um, hey. What are you, 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 Brooklyn Tammy, what are you, you're welcoming now? What is, what are you, you're welcoming? Thank you all for being here. I will be back on here tomorrow to work on this some more. We gonna see what we gonna see what this hitting for tonight, though. <laughs> we are going to see what it's hitting for tonight. <laughs> Cause the big the big boob girlies. I'm just doing a quick understitch again. This is not how the pattern is. Um, this is me taking creative license just to construct it. The muslin. This is just the muslin. This is not. How the final construction will work, but hey, Annabelle. Oh, Lord, not me running out of thread. Not your girl running out of thread, y'all. I'm using whatever thread I got right up in here, though, because this is the muslin that we don't care. Hey, Annabelle. You like some of the hat? Oh, thank you, April. April, you coming to Chicago for our tales? Since Miss Alethea not doing a retreat no more. Y'all might as well come. Y'all might as well come since Miss Alethea is not doing a retreat. Even though I would have loved to go to the retreat, I was trying to figure out how I could squeeze all, all the things I got going on this summer in there. You might as well come. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Brooklyn Timmy. Brooklyn Timmy, you always rock with us. You a night owl though. That's I feel like even even with, no matter where my New Yorkers are, where y'all are, if you move somewhere else, y'all stay. Y'all I feel like will always be night owls. New Yorkers are just night owls, no matter where you are in the country. All right, y'all. No, you said no. Okay. It's okay. We had two. That's because I promote them. I that you know why. Every day you post your stuff, you promote your stuff, you get sales. Every day I promote it, we get sales. Your summer's pack. No, I get it. I get it. So every day I'm not posting, Auntie Carol. Guess who need to post? You. If I ain't posting, Carol need to post. Well, so much talent will be bringing their retreat back in 2025, and I'm so excited. So 2025 will be here before you know it. I'm going to a sewing retreat next month. Super excited about that. Actually, from sorority wear. So many people going, like, to both weekends. Not sure who's going my weekend other than I know Sin, Bird. I know Johanna is going to be there my weekend. It's going to be Carol going to be there my weekend. Somebody else is going. I think Tamika is going to be there. My, it's going to be lit. Tamika, who else is going my weekend? Anybody up in here? 
I haven't even checked, Kara. I don't even check. I don't even check it. I just know the sales are going are happening. I don't. I had to focus on BSN stuff, so I haven't been checking the Chicago Friday. But I know when I post it, you know why? It's probably people are probably um, buying the tickets because I said they're not going to get the discount link to the hotels unless they uh, buy their ticket. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess I should do some pressing. <laughs> I've been really trying to avoid that, though. I've been trying to avoid the pressing, y'all. Who got time for that? Auntie Carol, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, sis. This is a muslin. Hold on. Ah, all right, y'all. I am working on it for 2024. What are you working on? What? What what you working on, Brooklyn Timmy? All right, let me bring the. So we're gonna press out the back opening again. I did a quick facing, not again required for the muslin. I just wanted it for myself, for my edification. But yeah, Chicago's gonna be lots of fun. So excited. Trying to plan a pre-event either on the day of Frog Tales, which might be too much. I don't know. Because we know y'all ain't going to be done. Two sales on strike. Is it on strike too? Was it four sales total, Auntie Carol? Listen, I told them they're not going to get the, they're not going to get the hotel link if they don't. <laughs> I told them. I said, listen, 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 babes, listen. <laughs> I haven't even looked. I said, check this out, babes. <laughs> if y'all if y'all want that discount. <laughs> so we got four sales today then. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me being a master master uh marketer. Okay. Anyway, if anybody's here and would like to hang out with us at Chicago Frog Tales, it's gonna be lit. It's going to be lit. So it's going to be, of course, the frock tail, but we're also planning some other stuff. And it's going to be fabric shopping. I'm trying to plan a pre-event for people that don't finish their outfits, which probably will be me because I never finish my outfits. I'm normally bringing a sewing machine or sewing, sewing tools with me. Not ashamed of that at all. Not ashamed of that one bit. So I found... <laughs> Thanks, you Auntie Carol. So yeah, we found a sewing studio in Chicago, so we get to support a local business. There's also a leather bag making class there going on at the same time. So all that stuff will be listed on the site. But yeah, super excited about that. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a crazy carol. The, the, the mistress of ceremonies <laughs> is going to be there in her ridiculousness. Shamir is going to be there telling people to bring it like she did in her post today. I said, okay, Shamir. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're in a good place. No, we're going to have a good time. Go to ChicagoFrogTales.com. Shamir, I said, babes. Shamir, that's the kind of thing you call, you just text big sis like Carmen. You just text me next time. Like, you just, if you want to say, if you want to, I'm like, you just text me first. Just be like, Carmen. I'm like, Shamir. <laughs> let me talk you off the ledge first. That's all. That's all I ask in the future. Just let me talk. Let me be the one to talk you off the ledge. Um, And I'm going to do a rough day stitch, not a real one. Carol, you see Lisa's question? That's a great question. You see Lisa's question, um, Carol? Lisa, yeah, you know you know what? I need to do a better job. You know I don't be going to their meetings, right, Lisa? I don't be going to their meetings. <laughs> I do not be going to their meetings. I just get secondhand information. But Carol, since you're here, answer, answer Lisa's question. 
No, Shamir, girl. Shamir, I'm gonna fly down to Atlanta so we can have a real conversation. All right, I did the stay stitch for the neckline. Let me tell you the right way to do it because I didn't do the right way. So with stay stitching, when you stay stitch it, you want to you want to do stitch to the center back, and then you want to come start at the top and stitch to the center back. Did I do that? No, I just stitched straight across. You don't you don't want to do that. Don't do what I do. Do what I do as I say, not as I do. Now I am going to stitch the right side, right sides to right sides. So we're going to stitch at the shoulder seam and we're going to stitch at this side seam. They actually fit. I didn't think they would. <laughs> they actually fit. Okay. So shoulder seam and this little ass side seam. <laughs> <laughs> You going where you going this weekend? Um, Atlanta. And I'll if you and Lisa and you can call up there too. I'm gonna include the phone number too. You can do it online, but if you prefer to call, Carol gave me a number to call too. Carol, I'm gonna have to touch base with you in the in the morning just to make sure I send out the right. <laughs> What you going to Atlanta for? Brooklyn Timmy stay. I, I thought I'd be moving. Brooklyn Timmy be moving. Brooklyn Timmy be moving. She be on my girl be on the move. And it's kind of like on the move where you don't want to ask no questions for real. You be like, eh, do I want to know? Do I want to know? Do I want to know? <laughs> All right, let's do the side same. Okay. Lisa said, I will let y'all know. <laughs> I'll let y'all know if it's a problem. We got the one side on. I can already. Whoo, so. I'm gonna try this on. I'm gonna try this on as soon as I finish this second side scene, because you know we may need to let this out a little bit, or we may need to go up to the sixteen. Maybe I should have just. Wow. We listen, we gonna we gonna see. We gonna we gonna explore this together. This is why you do the muslin. This is why you do the muslin. We're gonna explore this together. Come on, 
All right, let's see. Let's see where we are right now. All right, so I'm gonna keep my bra on because I'm gonna give you all a little. It's, you're gonna get somewhat of a show, but not much that not that much of a show. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Hold on. Especially if I use a stretch fabric. Hold on. I'm not mad. Now listen, we this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna embrace the back fat. Because they are too big. I cut them too big. We're gonna embrace the fat, the back fat. That's first of all. Embrace it, okay? Mind your business. Okay. We're gonna embrace it, but I'm gonna show y'all how it look. Y'all want me to turn around? Don't come for my pants, she. They are very comfortable. So, I think I'm gonna have to cut sew it at like a quarter of an uh, inch instead of three eighths. Maybe not. If I use a stretch, y'all want to see the back? Do y'all want to see the back? Leave my, leave my. I think I might have them on backwards. These are the hour pants. All right, y'all. Here to go to the back. Ooh, ooh. Let me see how I look. Wait. Let me pull out my other uh my phone. I need to see what it's giving. Oh, look at these. Y'all gonna embrace the room. Okay, I'm on it. All right. We might be all right. We might be okay. Child Shamir, I don't, let's, let me tell y'all something. I don't, I don't mind a little back roll. I don't mind a little back roll, baby, okay? <laughs> I don't mind it at all. But I like where it's going. We like where it's going, right? Actually, shut up. <laughs> Auntie Carol said it's not from the bra. Well, you know, like I said, when I, when I have on the right bra and stuff, the back, I can lift up my back roll. I don't really care. Let me just say that. <laughs> let me just say that. Just let me say that. I don't care about no back rolls. Bra causing it or not, okay? Okay? I don't really care. So, without the bra on, y'all, so the, the tape is going to be a must. The tape is going to be a must because... My bra is right here, which means if I wear a braless, the, the tit, the tit, my titties sit right here, though. My titties be sitting right here. So we're going to have to figure something else. Up. But I like where it's going. I like it. So you know what? I'm going to, I'm not, I, I'm going to try to add, y'all know I'm not really good at the uh, the collar. This is when I need Carol to be, her, her ass to be up here. Carol, I might need you to come on live tomorrow, sis. Bring your ass on here tomorrow. I'm going to try this collar now. But uh, we're going to just do the collar real quick. We're going to do the sleeves. But I like it. I like it. I like the direction. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Okay. Will coming for me. Will coming for me. Not Will coming for me. Not Will coming for my whole entire existence. Will said, 
Oh, that that bottle might take care of that role. That's what Will just said. That's what Will said. That bottle might take care of that little role, Carm. <laughs> Will just came for me, y'all. I'm fine with that, though. He said it out of love. We'll set it out of love. That's fine, Will. Listen, I embrace it. I embrace the back row, baby. All right, what am I doing next? We doing 12, the under collar. Okay, let's do that. Well, trust me, I'm not offended. I ain't offended. Well, <laughs> they think you're trying to play me, Will. I know you ain't trying to play me. I don't really care. <laughs> I really embrace my roles. Let me tell you why I embrace it. Because I ain't never I ain't never had no issue with snatching no fathers, sons, daughters, or mothers. Okay? I'm just I'm just saying. Okay, they all love the kid. They all love the kid. <laughs> so it don't bother me none, okay? <laughs> I think it's funny. I do. Right. Well, I, I was not in any way offended by it. Will. I hope you know that. You know, shit. Even if we you was busting a joke, I don't care. But I know that ain't even you. So. Will will curse somebody out that body shame somebody. Like, that ain't even... He is the master defender of all of us. All of us ladies in BSN. He go harder for me than all my exes. All of them. And I love that for I love that for me. I love to be protected. Okay? I am protected by the men in BSN. They be like, Carmen? Oh shit, I forgot. I didn't cut this on the bias. All right, so I already fucked up something. So I hope this doesn't mess up what I'm about to do. I hope this don't jack up what I'm about to do. Because I definitely did not cut this on the bias. Damn. Again, it's a Muslim. So, you know, that's my. That's my thing for everything. It don't matter. It's the Muslim. It's the Muslim. <laughs> That's my response for everything. Definitely didn't cut that on the bias. Don't do what I did. Okay. So we are jumping to... Um, number 12. Not me. Not me. Um, It is lying, but I ain't lying in it tonight. It is lying, but I'm not lying there tonight. Mm. All right. Okay. All right, so yeah. Um, I've been having to look at these pictures, babes. I be having to look at these pictures. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. I forgot I sneezed, Mike. That's the wild thing. I appreciate you. All right, wrong side. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. This is like that's why me and Notches don't really be getting along because it's like literally playing Tetris. But we're gonna figure it out together. We're gonna figure this out together. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 So we're doing the under collar, y'all. Shout. <laughs> so transferring the markings is definitely that's definitely key that's definitely a ma major key So I already messed up. This is when you say working Muslim, Melanie. Do you mean like, hey, King? You mean is this something I'm gonna wear outside, or is this like, like, what you mean like wearable Muslim, or do you feel like, or you just mean like Muslim for fit? This is my fit Muslim. So am I, do I ever plan on wearing this outside? Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. But my test Muslim, absolutely. We. We just did a quick fit uh, a second ago, so I'm liking how the fit is going. So far, so good. It's where I needed to be. Um, and right now I'm adding in the collar, which always kind of stresses me out a little bit. Definitely stresses me out a little bit, but you know, we're gonna work through it. Definitely. Um, important to transfer all your markings in your notch. I'm using a permanent marker. I'm not using like chalk or anything like that. Cause again, it's my muslin taking notes. Um, and mentally my collar is always be looking on struggle, but you know, we're gonna work through it. We're gonna work through it. <laughs> Okay. Already seen some error of my ways. Didn't cut the under collar or one of the collars on the bias, which is a no no, but you know, it is what it is. It's okay. Okay. And do the other side. Is anybody going to finish their mother? Because I know how y'all sew your view folks are. I being one of the sew your view folks. Who going to finish this by the end of eight, by, by the end of February? 
I feel like I need to have a challenge for folks to, to finish it before the end of February. I think we need to incentivize people finishing this blazer before the end of Black History Month. What y'all want? What do y'all want? What, what would be a good prize for a challenge like this? Shamir gonna finish it the March up. Cause y'all know how to sell your view, how we like to be late. We be like 10 months late. Oh, here go my entry for in December. Here go my entry for February. I'm speaking as myself too. What do you guys think? The reason I say that is because, did y'all see spring? Big Five just launched their spring pattern. Oh, Carol, we know you ain't finishing yours till December. <laughs> Child. We already know that, Auntie Carol. Trust me, we don't expect you to finish yours until the end of December. <laughs> we do not expect you to be done. <laughs> We know we know who our auntie is, okay? <laughs> we know who we know who your auntie who my auntie is. We know you ain't gonna be done, sis. <laughs> I was asking for the rest of us. <laughs> the rest of us. You still working on Unk's bomber jacket. Oh, you get respect. Absolutely. You get a lot of respect. You were working on your frock to your New York Frocktails outfit for a year. And you think I'm you think we're gonna expect you to finish this in this amount of time? Literally. <laughs> we we know we listen, we respect you. You you the OG, like. You get all the respect. All right. Stitching the rest of... Okay. I'm gonna do the best I can. Not perfect, but you know, we're gonna do the best we can. That's what you always say when you feel like you're about to F up. All right, All right. The under collar is on and it doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look horrible, y'all. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It ain't, listen, it ain't bulky or nothing. Y'all get them, make sure y'all hit them dots. Make sure y'all hit them dots. Okay, it is, is it perfect? No, is it perfect? But it's, we got it done. We got it done. Not mad at it at all. Not mad at it at all. Okay. 
Boom, 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 boom. What I'm trying to figure out is... Lord, when do I add this upper collar, though? You do get respect, Auntie Hero. All right, let's figure out this upper collar situation. Lower front, lower back. Because, uh. Ba, da, ba, 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 ba. All right, so I think. Oh, Diane, you're so sweet. I don't, but <laughs> I appreciate you, though. Oh, this is a sleeve. I'm, I'm working on it, though. I'm definitely working on it. Cut to fabric. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 I get it, I know what I did, I know what I did, y'all. Okay. I know exactly what I did. Okay. It's actually not as like taxing as I thought it would be. Not mad. I'm not mad. Okay. Okay. So next I'm going to attach the upper collar to Okay. On a collar goes on a lining, the other jacket. Yeah, I know, but I not I didn't cut a lining. So I'm trying to figure out how I can just I just cut the facing. But I didn't cut the lining. So I'm trying to like just attach the facing to it. That's my plan. I think it's going to work too, Auntie. So I found my dots. Yes, I think I got it, y'all. I think I got it. I think I got it. If I don't, drop some prayer hands, y'all. Drop some prayer hands. I think I got it, though. The key, the key, the major key. Do the markings. Do the markings. And then we can move on to the, the bottom part. I think the facing is kind of big around the lapel. You do?
We're going to see today. I'm excited. Like, the more and more I do it, the more and more I'm getting excited. All right. So, we are going to stitch those dots to dot. I watched a video about two weeks ago. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the upper collar. Darn it. I think I might have did it wrong, girl. I think I might have did it wrong. Should have basted it in. <laughs> Hold on. See where we after. Let's see where we after. Hey, King. Thought I did it right, but I didn't. But I did it. All right, so I got to take this apart. It's fine. The air, the, there is a dart in the neck area. Did you do the dart? I did, but I just, I attached the facing backwards. It's all good. We're going to fix it right now. I just attached the facing backwards. I attached the collar to the facing backwards. So we're about to fix it right now. Oh, thank you for the light, y'all. I appreciate it. Key, I don't want Key coming for y'all because she will. Thank y'all for liking the live. Thank you for being here. I am almost done with the bodice. I'm going to quickly put together the uh, lower. Uh, I'm not lining or doing any facing for the bottom. Um, All right. Appreciate that. Carol said, Karma. Well, she don't know. Is she about to get on live tonight and help me through this? So I don't embarrass myself tomorrow. Any sort of kinks? Carol, you on live tonight? Carol in. Here we go. Just had to do it over. Just had to quickly come back in here. Had to come back in here and line up these. Sure. It should match. Okay. Well, that's fine. If you do, I'm going to hop right on there and we can talk through some of the things <laughs> for tomorrow before I come on here. But so far, so good. Y'all didn't tell me I got to build my 
15 to oh here you go lord you are really sick terrence has really created a monster i can't believe y'all are really going at it like that well you know too much is given much is expected <laughs> Hey Julian, I've been sleeping and partying, missing a lot. Key, I want that. I want you to enjoy life. The lives will be here when you get back. You know what I want you to do? I want you to have a great time, and I want you to come back and tell us all the things that happened at Mardi Gras this year that you can reveal that happened. Because I know there's some things that just you know you just keep to yourself, and people just gonna have to respect it. Hey, Julian. Mm -hmm. Actually, over because y'all kind of correspond with Trinidad Carnival, right? Does anybody uh is anybody going to any carnivals this year? I know Trinidad is over. Is it this week? Is it is it did it kick off this week or did it is it ending this week? When is Ashwin's? I don't know. Whatever your schedule is, I don't know. All right. Flipping the other, flipping it the correct way. Ash Wednesday is today. All right, so carnival is ending then. Mardi Gras ended the last day to indulge was Lent before if you're Catholic. Okay, yep. Because y'all y'all have the same kind of schedule as uh, Trinidad. So I thought I wasn't sure what was happening. Probably should iron this, but whatever. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but we're just going to roll with it for now. Again, I didn't put the lining in or anything, but I did mark my dots. So we're going to just attach the upper collar to the lower collar. Then we're going to attach the facing. Then we're going to move on. But I am proud of me. No, I didn't. Did this wrong again. No. That's fine. I know what you might care. T sensitivity is so common. It immediately feels like somebody's poking directly on their dirt. I recommend Sensodem. Well, Key, rest up so that you can tap back in next week. <laughs> That's all. Just tap back in next week. We'll be here. Oh. What I do is I just keep
Okay. I think I finally got it, y'all. Why you do the muslin? This is why you do the muslin, folks. It's why you do the muslin. All right. Finally got it constructed. After three times of messing up. But I won't mess up. Next time, I won't mess up tomorrow when I do the... Uh, tomorrow's still going to be a wearable muslin. But when I do my, uh, my stuff tomorrow, I won't be messing up. So now I am pinning the upper collar to the bottom collar, and then I'm going to stitch around a five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to connect my facing. Again, and also having the lining here help would would, would have helped a lot too, but. So I'm going to sew all the way around, dot to dot, and stop at the dot. All right. Then I will construct this. Make sure all those dots are aligned and connected. I feel like I pinned this enough, but whatever. process you know this year i'm trying to do all the things that scare me and challenge me but it's actually going pretty well and i know it's because you know sometimes stuff it takes a while for it to click so i think between doing i'm trying to think what shirt i did before i think the, i don't think julian's shirt has a notch lapel but he did it was something that challenged me in his shirt i think he has a placard or something and then Carol taught me how to do the notch lapel with that uh, camp pajama shirt. And we had to do a notch lapel with another project we worked on with Carol. I think a lot of the stuff she's teaching is starting to click. Now, that remains to be seen, though, because we're going to see how this thing look when I flip it out inside out. So if it look up that. Carol said, don't, don't, don't blame my teaching on that if it looks jacked up. Okay. But so far, I'm not mad at it. Wait. Lord. Did I mess up again? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Don't play with harm. Don't play with harm. So we're gonna do this facing really quick. Let's start at the bottom. I even I think I should start at the top. No, actually, you're supposed to start at the top. You're supposed to start at the top and stitch top to bottom. Top to bottom is the rule. You know, I don't be following rules like that, but we are going to follow the rules today. Thank you so much for being here. 
All right, so we're going to match up the dots and we're going to also match up the notches. <laughs> we're about to be really done. We're about to be done, not so <laughs> Carol said the lapels look kind of look big to her, so we're going to see. I mean, it is looking a little... It's giving a lot. What kind of machine, Diana, what kind of machine is that? Uh, me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to Carmen or Diana and somebody... Oh, you're saying that's your name. Diana's saying, what kind of machine is that? Um, a brother project runway machine. I think I will pin the bed into my dress form and cut out, do the cut out one piece pattern. What does that mean, Auntie Carol? I don't know. What are you talking about, sis? Sis, what are you talking about? <laughs> Carol, what are you talking about? All right, so I'm working on that point part of the lapel. So you go in from in to out, making sure you're not stitching over any of those other layers in the collar. This is where notch lapels always kind of get me. I'm like, I always got to do a little picking. But I'm going to try to get it as close to there as possible. Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's see. You know, if this ends up being, uh, I'm covering the cutouts with fabric. Oh, okay. Well, what would, if you're covering it with fabric, what would differentiate it from, okay, wait. Damn it. Oh, no, I did it right. Trying to push out these lapels. I did not clip them yet because just in case. I ain't do the second side yet, but this one look a little crazy. It look a little wonky, but we're going to work through it. Again, I didn't clip anything yet. We didn't clip anything yet. So for that reason, I was using Power Mash. Yep, you did tell me that. All right, I want to see if I'm comfortable enough with clipping out some of it. I'm going to clip it. 
F it. We're going to clip it. I'm going to do the second side real quick and then I'm going to clip it. We're going to do this bottom. <laughs> Then we're going to do this bottom, baby. What I will say is there, this pattern has a lot of interfacing. It is 13 pieces that need to be interfaced. Carol, how are you going to handle that? I did pull a picture of how much interfacing is required. So you see there, all those all those pieces have to be interfaced, and they have to be interfaced on both sides. So you have the front bodice, you have the facings, of course, need to be interfaced. The collars need to be interfaced. Um, the welts need to be interfaced. The pockets need to be interfaced. So... If you are doing the Power Mesh Auntie Carol and it's going to be attached to the blazer, how how you how you gonna handle that? Let the folks know. Curious minds want to know. Um, but yeah, a lot of interfacing. I was gonna do it for my Muslim, but I was like that interfacing. Even though it, it ain't cheap, it ain't cheap. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chill on that. Also, I'll probably be uh, block interfacing my stuff as well. Essentially going through and ironing on the interface before I cut out the pattern pieces that need it. Um, but yeah, it's a lot. Go back to the comments. Oh, I don't have no more black. Do I gotta go get some more? Oh. I do not have black. Of course I don't have black. Wait, Wawa has pizza? Wawa has pizza? Wawa has been pushing their pizza lately. I didn't ask for it, but y'all, they've been pushing it. All right. Okay. You need to share that process. Thank you. All right, y'all. All right, let's move on to the bottom. We're going to poke this out. I'm going to press this a little bit. Again, the collar's not perfect, but it's good enough for what I needed to do right now. I don't like the way that looks, so... the start okay all right now again it's not gonna be perfect but we're gonna see what this gives I'm gonna I am gonna cut out some of this what I don't see is under stitching for the face thing I mean I could be missing it because it's like a 
The directions are super wordy. I'm a double. I'm a uh, watch Erica's uh, tutorial again tonight. Um. Okay, I'm just clipping the corners of the collar. Hopefully, I'm not doing it too prematurely, but I feel like it's good enough for now. Hey, Gail, how are you? Thanks for coming. All right, so we're clipping into the collar. Again, I did not line it, but I did add the facings. I'm glad I did. And now I'm just kind of clipping into the corners of the collar. Hoping for the best. We're we hoping for the best. <laughs> we are hoping for the best. You know, we're going to do the best we can with what we got. All right, so I'm flipping it out. Using my nails as the point turner because why not? Because in the words of Aisha, whose birthday it is today, because I can. Because I can. And I will. I'm my man in it. Hold on. Let me see how this is supposed to look. Let's see how, let's see how this is supposed to look. Mm. Yeah, I probably did it wrong. Let's see how it's supposed to look. When I think about it, I go a little bit crazy. It's gotta be more than me. But you were not a cold. No, I did it right. I did I did it. Don't play with Karn. Don't play with Karn. Hold on, let me press this out. Let me press this out before I start stop doubting myself. Let me let me press her out first, okay? Yeah, so that lapel does look a little. It, look, it does look a little wide. This look a little. It looks a little wide. Okay. Let, let's see where we are. Let's see. Let's see where we are. Again, I did not do the lining. I just tore my damn muslin. Whatever. We're gonna give it a good press. This is one of those projects. Just pace yourself, y'all. Don't try to rush your way through it. Hello, gay now. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, I am. I have a, a ironing board on my lap, so it's not me ironing on. I don't know. I've gotten asked a lot of things. People assume this is a lot of things, but it is a tabletop ironing board that I made for myself out of scrap wood and scrap fabric, some Ankara fabric, scrap fabric that I had. So easy to make. So I have two tabletop ironing boards. Love them. I don't. I need like a regular one. Auntie Carol swears by hers, but I have one at two different sizes. Hey, T, thanks so much for being here. Going through the motions, pressing out my uh, my muslin, my beautiful muslin. Thank you. 
One lapel definitely looks better than the other one. That's for sure. <laughs> definitely look better than the other one. This could be very special. But you know, we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it and trust the process. So far, so good. All right, let's throw her up on the dress form and see what we're working with. Throw her up on the dress form and see what we're working with. Okay, let me turn you around. Yeah, here we go. Would definitely help. I'm not even mad at it. I'm not even mad at it. Don't play with harm. Press her out a little bit more, get that press right. Okay. I'm not even mad at her. Look at the bag, all this thread. All right, y'all, we should be off in the next hour. Child, the titties is out. Baby, the titties is out. Okay. Julie wants to do all the fancy things. I do not keep... Y'all be keeping tool tape on here. I'd be like, what? Does that mean I got to go to the fabric store? All right. So let me press her out one more time. But so far, I am loving the direction. I understand the process for construction. I understand some places where, you know, again, this has no interfacing in it, but it still doesn't look bad. So I'm going to press this out a little bit more because now I know where the fold needs to be. But yeah, the sittings is going to be out. Don't play with cards. Exactly, exactly. Don't play with car, but the, the y'all, the titties gonna be out. I think I'm gonna get a man. This this blazer gonna get me a man, okay? The blazer is going to get me a man. I'm gonna be Mary and Frocktails. I'm gonna be Mary and Frocktails. This is about to be my outfit for Frocktail, y'all. I'm about to be in Chicago with this blazer on. I'm leaving Chicago with my husband. Okay? Prepare yourselves for a wedding. Well, don't prepare yourselves for that because I'm eloping. Um, but, yeah. We're going to elope. I'm already planning it. I'm going to have on this blazer. It's going to be my wedding dress. I'm 
Now, Julian, you know I'm being a bit. Julian, we already discussed how we are letting people go out, and I'm being a bit. We already discussed how we're gonna be in the bed. <laughs> we already discussed how we're gonna be in the bed, Julian. What, Julian? <laughs> Now, Julian. You know what, Julian? But it really do be working. It really do be <laughs> for real. It's it's kind of scary. It is kind of scary. My me my manifestation been on a million lately. I'm like, oh, I know, Lord. I said I wanted it. But I've been busting my ass too. So it's been working because I've been busting my behind. But uh yeah. I'm gonna leave Chicago with my man. Whether or not he's visiting from another state. But I got a feeling I'm gonna find my man in Chicago. I wish I could play Chicago by Michael Jackson right now, but I don't want to get flagged. Hand stitch it in, yeah. You know my next one gonna be a muslin too, though, Julian, right? <laughs> I think I would want to ultimately do this in like a set. This will look cute. Shamir, I can see you doing this in a satin. I could totally see you doing in this a satin, beloved. I could totally see you doing this in a satin. I was about to say, Julian, and you know, we're going to have to walk through this again. <laughs> we're going to have to walk through this again with your, your spring. Wink, 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 wink. Damn, that hurt. Wink, wink. <laughs> Julian said, Carmen, do not get me fired. Love you, bro. Carmen, this is why I don't tell you things. I'm just saying, it's about to come out though. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Am I really divulging any secrets? I love a good pop to collar holler moment. I love a good pop to collar holler. Like this would look so good with like a good pop the collar holla moment. Y'all know how I love a good pop the collar holla. I am loving this, okay? Already. Sorry if I'm showing my behind. All right, let's work. Let's move on. Let's move on. Because I, I can iron that for days. Guess Carol's rub, rubbing off on me. Next month? Okay. When do y'all get to say something, though? Because we saw spring. Spring is, you know, they popped out with a little bit of spring. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. All right, y'all. Let's move on to the, the the skirt next. Okay. God damn. Lower front and back. Yeah, I think, Shim, I think you're going to breathe right. I mean, outside of the, of course, you got to do the darts and stuff. But outside of that, I feel like you're going to breeze right through this. Okay. Okay. Yes, definitely stay tuned for Julian and his next pattern. pattern. It's coming, y'all. It's coming, y'all.
Okay. Let's do some darts, y'all. Let's do some darts. This is the bottom. Um... So, y'all, it looks like we got to do darts on the front, darts on the back. Lucky us. But I'm going to breeze right through them. <laughs> we breathing right through these darts. We breathing right through them, okay? We ain't overthinking it. We just breathing right through them for now. This is the front. Shopify has everything you need to grow your retail business, from fast and secure checkout, reliable card readers, and one place to track all your in-store and online sales. Start your free trial today at www.shopify.com slash retail POS. All right, we got one on. So what I'm feeling so far, y'all, I feel like I feel like that's kind of long. We're going to see. My initial thoughts is this is giving kind of long. I think this is long, y'all. I don't know. For a shorty, we're going to see. We're going to see where it hits. But so far, I feel like it's it's looking a little long from the naked eye. So you might want to shorten it. Um, I don't know. Okay. It's giving kind of long. We're going to roll with it, though. Um, okay. Trust in the process. Trust in the process. Huh. Again, we have some more darts here that we have to construct. Another thing that I don't necessarily do often, if at all, is uh, huh. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, the back is out. The back is out, baby. The back is out. So on that back vent. That vent, we're going to have to practice a little bit. We're going to have to practice that vent, but not today. <laughs> we're going to practice that vent. Uh, Arva, today's Ash Wednesday. Yes, yesterday was the last day of Mardi Gras. Are you um, watching the replay, Arva? Yeah, we were just talking about that like a little while ago. We were just talking about that a little while ago. Okay. Fold line, stitch line. I was losing my shirt.
collected, but you pushing on my nerves. I'm not with your attention, I'm under pressure. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got a city keep the town in the presence of the kids. Long as you know, I cover the perfections. When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh, you something special. Know you looking bomb, the way you dress is gone. Flex your holy still and let my mind digest. You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation. You got the on all right. Oh. All right. Back bent. I'm going to have to look at the tutorial one more time, but we'll get the general idea. We get the general idea. Just going to stitch this to the front. We're going to work on the sleeves and be out. Out. Just going to pin that a little bit. I think I might attempt a new bodysuit for the jacket. I think, yeah, that's. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything like obstruct the jack. I think if I do anything, like I'm just going to create something in addition that I could wear either as an overlay or an underlay. That's going to be my strategy. Um, Because I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. <laughs> All right, so now I'm stitching the side seams in. If you're not comfortable with like doing any like major hats uh, and altering a pattern, you can always just create an additional accessory to pair with it. Like a harness or the bow. I feel like the bow you could kind of add it. But I think that wouldn't actually be. Color block. I want to do uh, put a giant flop, not a giant flop. Shamir, girl, where did that come from? Shamir said, "If I'm a, if I'm a go for, I'm a go for it." Sis. Shamir said, "If I'm a go for it, I'm a go for it, sis. Like, what, what's, what's that?" She said, "I want more people to take risks. How about that?" I said, "Okay." I'm just doing the side scenes. She said, "Say something." Listen, I ain't got no no problem with that. We're just doing the side scenes. I'm gonna add a quick facing to the outside again. We didn't do any lining today, but we did do the facings. Add a quick facing. I'm going to DM you to answer. Okay. Listen, do you got Pinterest? Because we could do a Pinterest. We could share a Pinterest board. I love Pinterest, y'all. Like, I am kind of obsessed. So, if anybody wants to do be Pinterest friends. Let your girl know, because I'd be about that Pinterest life, y'all. Definitely a Pinterest mommy. Make no apologies for it. So we're adding a little facing. We're going to attach the bottom to, yeah, this is, 
I feel like Shamir, if you did that buttering, uh, I'm just adding a facing really quick. Again, the facing, when you actually do the final, you'll have a your lining. Um, Okay, I think the facing showing us how short it will become, like the eventual pattern will become. So okay, we're short. Okay, we're gonna it's gonna be short. Oh, let me send you my Pinterest. I think it's still can't reinvent it. I stay on Pinterest, like I start, you know what? I'm gonna share my board that I did for this uh I'll share my board that I did for this, uh, my inspos for the hats. Okay. So I added in one facing. Okay, I will press this out momentarily. Let me add the second one. Oh, okay, you gotta use Pinterest. Pinterest is that girl. Uh, Pinterest is amazing. Whenever I'm feeling like a creative block, I always tell you use it for recipe ideas. Listen, period. When I used to cook, I don't really cook like that no more. But when I like first became vegan again, I was always on there. So Nadia, you want to know the real answer? <laughs> Nadia, if I tell you the secret, you can't say nothing. YouTube does a lot. Okay, short answer, yes. Music. YouTube does a lot of music. You said, girl, why you got to be so extra? <laughs> I could tell you more, but you may not be interested in the full story. But yes, yes. YouTube does a lot of music. I don't know about y'all, but I can't, uh, I need some sort of noise when I'm working, when I'm sewing. So right now I'm just adding the facing. Now they say, nope, I'm not going to get blocked. I do this every week. Um... They have non copy. This is non copyright music. Some of it is encrypted. Some of it is actual, just independent music. So YouTube does have a lot of music. If you do a search for uh, music that is not copyrighted, so that a lot of bloggers use and bloggers. So that's what I'm using right now. But thank you. Appreciate it. I started a, a playlist. I need to publish it. It's kind of, I'm still vetting out the music or whatever. But every every live, I'll I be waiting. I'll be like, did this get flagged this time? Nope, my lives haven't been flagged. So.
All right, so kind of almost want to do a quick tag stitch across. So I'm going to press this out really quickly and do a basting stitch at the bottom just to see um, how uh, long we're, how long this is. We're just going to press it out. I'm gonna base it across the bottom because it does not have a lining. So I'm basing it off the bottom to see where it will fall like once I have my lining in. And then we'll attach it to the top. going really well even though this is a muslin y'all i really feel like the process is running really smoothly even even the collar which i'm not always i'm not the most comfortable with you're gonna see how that lining goes though tomorrow tomorrow i will be back on at 7 p.m we will focus on the bodice only again we're, we're doing this in digestible pieces. We're not doing this on live all in one swoop. I just, for my sanity, for yours. <laughs> all right. I'm going to base that in a second. So I got one side done. Thank you again for everybody for being here. I appreciate y'all for being here. Feel like this is really coming together nicely. Again, I'm excited. I'm excited to make one, like the permanent one, the final one. And I'm excited to see what you all do with yours as well. Um, I feel like this is definitely something that can be worn regardless of your size. Don't feel intimidated. Okay, let it hang out, show. Let it hang out because the back right now, as is, is definitely hanging out. It's definitely hanging out. <laughs> but we are embracing it, baby. We are embracing it. Okay. Let's base it together. I'm basing the hem. a quick little base nothing permanent
And this is a basting stitch to hold the hem because I just want to see for fit how long it is. This is not. First of all, it's a muslin, so it's not permanent anyway, but. Okay. Then we're gonna attach the bottom to the top and move on to the sleeves and then we'll be all done for the night. Oh, not edible.com. Not edible.com. How many times? How many times? So I'm vegan now. I've been vegan for the last uh, nine, almost nine years. But before that, I was vegan. You know, I've done like a month here and there. And then I was vegan for nine months and went back to eating meat for about three years. And then I decided nine years ago, I said, you know, I don't like the way I feel when I'm not vegan. So I went vegan again and never turned back since. But I've done a couple stints. I lived at ba in Baltimore at the time, and Baltimore is the capital of seafood. I love seafood. I love crabs especially, and it was just very hard for me to shake. Um... But once I was able to get, you know, shake it, I was, I was fine. Crabs were hard though. Yeah. Pinterest is my jam. Pinterest is my absolute jam. You want to be vegan again? You don't have to be vegan. I just, that's just the way that I control my, even though I don't eat the best as I should eat, but child, if I wasn't vegan, I would be eating an entire kitchen sink. You hear me? <laughs> I will be eating the entire kitchen sink if I was not vegan. I love food, y'all. So that's my way of controlling what goes in my mouth. Oh, nah, like, it's it's unmatched. It's unmatched. And you know it's crazy? I can tell when somebody puts meat and stuff, like meat or cheese or something, and I eat it by mistake. My body immediately responds in a very visceral way. It is not happy with me. You know, I'm not going to say, you know, you try to avoid it, but, you know. Sometimes it happens. Um, and my body will tell me if somebody put dairy in my shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I had a vegan YouTube channel. Don't even look it up. Um, but I had one on here for a while. It was doing well. I, I Again, it did well, but I, didn't, I only stuck with it for like a month. But even in that month, it was, it was, it was doing numbers for that first month. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's stitch the top to the bottom.
All right. Not mad at it, y'all. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this, okay? The girlies are going, we're going to step out and look good in this, okay? Can we just prepare? Can we prepare, prepare the kids for us to step out? Because, <laughs> baby, that's exactly what's about to happen. So, stitching the facing. Okay, I'm understanding. I mean, I'm understanding. I'm picking up what we're putting down here. Pinning the facing to the uh, bottom to the top. Oh, shit. The darts even match up. Oh, I get it. I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta figure out where 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 does it connect and where does it stop? Here's the bottom. Oh, it gotta make sense. It gotta make sense, beloved. Okay, 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 okay. It stops here. It stops here. Okay, I was trying to see where it flipped. Oh, okay. Yeah, listen. You do you still eat um dairy though? Dairy is probably what really used to f me up. <laughs> like I know people that eat meat that don't eat dairy. Every dairy is that it's that cheese, child. The cheese. <laughs> That cheese <laughs> said, Not today, beloved. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna stitch this facing right up in here. Hopefully, I'm doing it right. Oh. All right, one half of the bottom is on. Oh, okay. Hold on, let's put that. Oh, we got it, y'all. We got it. Hold on. Okay, I love how we're understanding how the dots connect now. It's like a puzzle with blazers, I feel like. Once you figure out how the, the dots connect, baby, they ain't gonna be able to tell us nothing. Okay. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, y'all. Yes. Don't play with Carm. This is going to be cute, y'all. When I tell you this blazer is going to be cute. Oh, my gosh. Stunning. Stunning. You just got to know how to connect the dots. I know. I bet I got to watch the replay, Julian. I saw you got a new baby today. I said, that boy... <laughs> Don't nobody else deserve it though. Who else deserve it? He does. I said Bernina and Burnett love him. Okay. You better tell them to wrap me to grab me up before Janome come get me in five. I know I know they're gonna reach out to me this year. I know they're gonna reach out. So you better tell you better tell Bernina and Burnett. Listen, they got a couple butts. 
They don't even got that long. Oh, I know they sent it to you. They love you. <laughs> That's my point. I know, Julian. I would just play it. I would just play it. He said, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm sort of about to blow up. <laughs> I'm about to be a YouTube sensation. I'm just saying. Right now, all I have is brother by my, my videos. But the second Genovia five, ah, Genomi's on. Auntie Carol love her Genomi child. She love her Genomi's. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm doing the second side. I'm not vegan. I'm vegetarian. Where I, where I eat, I will eat eggs. Okay, Diane. Listen. You know, I used to miss eggs a lot. I don't miss them that much anymore. But eggs and cheese, of course, cheese was the hardest for me to give up. Cheese is definitely the, was definitely the hardest for me to give up. Everything else, I didn't care. I know you're a Janome girl, Auntie Carol. I know. I know. We know, girl. <laughs> we know. We know you a Janome girl. So the bodice is constructed well as much as we're gonna do it because I didn't add that uh, I didn't add uh the lining, but I'm liking how it's looking. Oh, no problem. All right. So the back is out. The back is out, out, y'all. The back is out. <laughs> All right, so once I add my lining, this will like look a little bit better. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, my dress form is a 12, so that's why you see it look a little bit big. So, you know, once I add my lining and stuff, it'll be fine. I mean, you know, once I add it on my body, it'll be fine. 
pizza again. Is but I it's like it. Skill free recipe you can make in a snack. Whoa, that's right. Again, pizza? if you want to make it a dress, you would because of that vent in the back, you might want to disregard the vent or you have to close up that vent. Um, if you want to make it into a dress, but I'm liking the way it's looking so far. Yeah. Oh, no dairy. Okay. So far, so good. I'm not mad. Okay. We're, we're doing good. Let's do these sleeves. Now, this sleeve isn't like a regular inset sleeve. It is like a blazer sleeve where it has a under sleeve and an um, upper sleeve. But honestly, if you wanted to, you could, this would be a cute back. This would be a cute sleeves with top. You could finish this by maybe, you know, adding some. Of course, you would have the lining opportunity. You can complete it with like a bias. Um, thank you, Leangela. The vent. Yeah. This will be cute sleeveless. I would say that. Like a cute little vest. But at this point, we're committed. We're going to stick with it. I like it. I like what it's doing. Go, Con. Don't play with Con. Don't play with Con. All right, so we're going to do the sleeves. Child, me and, me and undersleeve do not get along. This is also the part where you would add like a shoulder pad if you wanted it. Thank you. Yeah, the sleeveless option is a it might be a vibe. Um, also, if you want to add shoulder pads, this is designed for to have shoulder pads if you if you so, so please. Um that's your business. All right. So. That is not a quarter inch. Just want to do a couple. <laughs> couple markings. Yeah, this will be cute for the summer. All right, let me do these under sleeves. <laughs> now, if this come out looking like a Gordon Garcia, mind your business. If it come out looking like a Gordon Garcia, we're going to mind our business, right? Thank you all for the likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sleeveless is another option. I'm going to present that as a hack as well. And sleeveless might be good if you, because I know somebody was talking about wearing it with like a, um, wearing it to work with a, um, wearing it to work as like a, uh, with a collared shirt. So if you want to like wear it with like, you know, a collared shirt as an option, you can, um, 
Mm. What the fuck? Lord. Whatever. All right, so let's push these sleeves up real quick. Chishi, you be. Shishi, you making it? Um, I need adjustments. I got a big bag. You know what? Here you go. Yeah, Shishi is making it. <laughs> Lord, here y'all go. Here y'all go. Alrighty, it's too early. Be all shenanigans. <laughs> here y'all go with y'all shenanigans. Y'all already starting with the shenanigans. Child, I might need a cover too. We about to see in a second. <laughs> we about to see in one second, okay? You know she is. You know she is going to finesse it. I'm trying to get her to come on live on set on Saturday. We're gonna see if I can finesse that. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing the second sleeve. This is cute, y'all. I kind of like the under sleeve. I really, yeah. Like I said, I really don't make a lot of blazers, but this year we're doing all the hard things. We're doing all the things that, you know, challenge us, like, on period. We're doing the things that challenge us, okay? I mean, push come to show, we got she, she, and Carol, <laughs> period. Period, okay? We got support. She she is definitely finessing that. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely finessing that. I'm just doing the under sleeve of the first sleeve, and then we'll move on to the second sleeve, and then we'll add them in, and then we'll be out of here. We'll try it on, and then we'll be out of here. So stick around. Give me 30 minutes. Just give me 30 minutes. My estimate that it was that I was going to be on here for about three hours, and that's what we did. Tomorrow, I will only be on for two hours. Um, but I'm doing a lot less. I am adding the lining, though. I'm only doing the bodice tomorrow, um, which only has one well pocket. And honestly, I might do that in advance. This this sleeve has something interesting going on. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna have to ask Carol about that. Whatever, we're gonna figure that one out. Did I put that sleep on you? Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> something definitely happened. We'll figure that out. I may try laced. Did it get twisted? Right. That's what I'm looking at. Like. I don't think so. I mean, there's really no other way to, for it to go together. It's definitely giving twisted vibes, but I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. No, I think it's right. I think it's right. I just think it's just awkward. <laughs> Okay. We're just going to roll with this tonight and I'll figure out. I think I did it right, though. I do think I did it right. Um, there's some, there's a vent in the sleeve as well. And the lining has to, I think it's the way the lining is attached to. So I need to look and read that as well. All right, we're almost done. If I fucked up, I fucked up. <laughs> if we fuck, if we messed up, we messed up. It's okay. That's why this is the bus That's why this is the bus And the sleeves we ain't doing until next Wednesday. <laughs> the sleeves are slated for next Wednesday. We ain't got to worry about them till next Wednesday. Hi, Brianna. Thanks for coming, boo. I'm in the final stretch. I'll be on here for maybe what time is it? I said it. I believe I was getting off of here at. 10, 10 15 latest. But I have most of the jacket done. I'm just about to finish up this sleeve. It's, get, it's a little odd, but we're going to work through it. Okay. Maybe a lace turtleneck. Yeah. Um, I think she she is doing a lace underlay. Um 
So lace has definitely been thrown into the conversations as well. We got a lot of options. Okay. I'm excited though. Like even the muslin is getting me excited about the jacket. So hopefully it's getting you all excited about all the possibilities. Cause we got them. Okay. We got possibilities. We have possible. Cause if my mom heard me say that, she would cringe. We have possibilities, y'all. Just doing a crisp crisp press. Again, there is a the sleeves are lined as well. Definitely, we'll be watching and rewatching that part. So there is an under sleeve, so it's not just a regular inset. It's an inset sleeve, but the sleeve is broken up into two parts. Um, because it has buttons, it has buttons as well. So we're figuring that out later. <laughs> not not right now. <laughs> okay. Boom. Don't look bad at all. Don't look bad at all. Don't play with harm. Don't play with harm. Don't play with harm. Okay. Don't play with us. Super excited. The blazer actually isn't running as small as I thought it was going to run. I thought it was going to be super small. I, I might have to like do something with those darts actually so that it does fit my bust a little bit better. Because I'm seeing some potential gapping. We're going to figure it out. We're going to do the best we can with what we got. <laughs> but I'm loving it, y'all. I'm loving it. I'm loving the process. Probably because it's going smoothly. But again, this is a great pro project for doing different techniques. And even though I haven't really done a tailored jacket, I have been like taking a lot of Carol's classes and stuff and listening to her when she doesn't think I listen. I've been like learning like the individual components. Like I've been practicing welts. I've been practicing lapels on different projects. Not all in one, <laughs> not all in one, but this is definitely a skills project. So the more you do it, the more you'll get comfortable with it. Oh, shoot. There she go. I didn't know you was here, Auntie Carol. <laughs> I didn't know you was here, girl. Look at that. <laughs> Thought you had left. <laughs> Thought you had left, girl. <laughs> All right. So. I listen. What she say? Well, I did listen. Oh, yeah. It's a skills project. Yep. She did say that. I do remember her saying that. And this is definitely putting my skills to the test, but it's, it's a lot easier. I, you know, I think it's good to practice this up individually. Um, and once you get strong at it, like I still got some ways to go with my well pockets. In fact, you can skip the well pockets if you want. 
you can skip them well pockets if you want. If you don't want to do that, listen, the process will go a lot faster. <laughs> like I'm debating on if I want to do a well pocket on um not everywhere. <laughs> right. Exactly, Shamir. Not everywhere, sis. <laughs> Here she go. Here she go. <laughs> this is why we don't invite her places, because she don't want to act. Not she everywhere, though. <laughs> Girl. Not she everywhere. <laughs> Ma'am, go somewhere with that. It's time for bed. Oh! Alexa, stay sending me to bed. Oh, so the thing about it is, I feel like all them flap on when you got a lot of boobies. I don't know, Shamir. I got a lot. Of, I got. I got a lot of tots. A lot of tatas. So I feel like that's going to draw some additional attention that I don't necessarily want. I mean, I don't mind it, but. Oh. <laughs> Did I forget my So now my nash is not We got to ease this freaking. All right, y'all. We got to ease it in. I was hoping we did not, but here go Carol. Of course you do. But let me just do this already. <laughs> Darn it. So this does require some ease stitching. God damn it. <laughs> I was hoping I could avoid it, but whatever. Now, for ease stitching, I do go notch to notch. I just don't do it at the top. This makes it easier for me. Um, 
But do do whatever you want, because that's your business. You can do you can ease in a designated area if you want. I I find that eating not nice tonight. I think I got that from Mimi. Where do y'all eat? Oh, I'm almost done, girl. Well, the muslin. Just working on some ease stitching. It definitely requires some ease stitching. I was hoping to avoid it, but you can't. <laughs> Definitely was hoping to avoid that, but whatever. That's what it is. <laughs> this other one, though, I'm going to try to get away with not doing it from now to now. So we're going to see. All right. Want me to read difficulty level i haven't i feel like i haven't really done the hardest components which are um hardest things are probably going to be of course the welts Oh, T. My contrarian. <laughs> I mean, it's, I definitely don't want you to make it if you don't think you'll wear it. But hopefully you will be inspired to wear it somewhere. Because it is fabulous. You know what? And you don't have any, you don't have to have an excuse to look fabulous in the house. That's how I feel. You need no excuse to look fabulous. No excuse to look fabulous. So no reason to look fab. You want to look fabulous? Look fabulous. Okay, well, if ever you want to come over to the fancy side, girl, just let us know. We'll be here to support. I told you I thought I think it will be a cute vest for work. And don't let Erica hear you say this, but you could do it like a ponty. <laughs> She's gonna be like, girl. Let me see what the, the fabrics they suggest. Mm. 
Erica gonna be like, girl, stop telling people lies. Cotton blends, gabardine, Leah, you know. Stretch woven. Yeah, maybe a nice stretch woven. I don't want to eat hearing this on the sheet. I don't want her watching the replay and hearing this, but yeah. Girl, make it in the pot. Do you have your head fun? Head fun with it. No, don't do that. It is definitely intended for a woven. But I wonder if we could make it more sporty. It's just a thought, just an idea. You would do skit scuba? Okay. I'm putting in one sleeve. All right, we got one sleeve in. <laughs> Might be a little puck rain here and there, but we're going to make it work tonight. Ooh. Well, what happened here? What? What in the Gorgar trial? Oh, no, you didn't, Carmen. Lord. What in the Gorgar trial? What in the Gora Gartrell is happening here? I definitely child. Take the soul machine away from her. Take the soul machine away from her. Got too excited. I got too excited toward the end of that turn. No, I didn't go. 
I got too excited at the end. And that turn at that turnaround. I got I got a little bit too beside myself. Oh, I played myself, yo. <laughs> now I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out, y'all. I figured out what I did. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> but I definitely didn't get beside myself a little bit. I got one more sleeve and then we out of here. I ain't got time to be messing with these sleeves. <laughs> One more sleeve, y'all. Then we're done. Then we're done. Oh, God. The puckers is puckering, and I don't like it. We'll figure it out tomorrow, though. Let's see if we do it better the second sleeve. Looking at your muslin, it could be a blouse instead of a jacket. Yes, a vest too. Yep. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. My ease is just be, they be doing the most. I was like, we'll just have to work on the sleeve, the top. is not insetting the way I need it to inset, but you know that takes practice. We got enough to get by though. We got enough to get it done.
same. Say you get it, you regret it, I forgive it, but you stay the same. You should cry an ocean for me. For the damn shit that the damage you've done. Cause I've been crying oceans for weeks. Try to fight it, but I'm drumming the bones. As a business owner, you understand the importance of finding new ways to save time and money while improving okay. product quality and customer experience. But when you order your product labels from a print shop, you're often subjected to needless delays, minimum quantity orders, and set up or rush fees. Plus, if you're in an industry where critical okay. information like batch numbers, dates, or patient numbers changes frequently, label ordering becomes even more complicated. Not to mention expensive. All right, last sleeve then. The first sleeve look kind of janky, but we sell high quality label. Hopefully, this sleeve will go in better because I did do uh, an e stitch notch to notch, so I'm hoping saving you time and money while giving you the flexibility you need. It comes out better and efficiently adapt for new opportunities. Our range of solutions is larger than any other desktop label printing company. Okay, girl, come on with this commercial. Goodbye. Is your first this your first time doing a two part sleeve? Um, yeah, not well as an as an adult out in the wild. I did one in school before. That's Auntie Wait Carol okay, way of coming from my neck. That's her way of coming from my neck. That's her way of saying, girl. Private session. Call me later. That's her way of saying that. Just say you want me to call you. Just say that. Just say you want me to call you, girl. Say you miss me. I don't do blazers, Auntie Care. You know that. And I especially don't do tailor blazers. I don't do this. But we're doing all the new things this year. This is the kind of blazer they this is the kind of blazer they made you do in tailoring. So this is the kind of blazer we had to do in tailoring class with all that hand tack and shit you you be doing. All right. muslin should make you proud okay because you know i do not do muslins but the fact that your niece is doing a muslin should really make you excited it should make you very excited because we don't be doing muslins even though carol be yelling at us but i say you know what let me do a muslin as part of a series okay so we can work out all the kinks so we can work out all the kinks in this process scale to one to ten this is definitely like a six six and a half <laughs> But we still going to, we're still going to power through with the rest of this series because that's what we do. We power through around these parts, okay?
I just want to try this on and muslin, a muslin and pressing. I know a muslin and I'm pressing. <laughs> exactly, Juliet. Okay, we are doing things that karma don't do. But I'm just trying to represent BSN correctly in these streets, okay? So just know if you kind of want to be a Sandla, this ain't what we do. We're a little bit more reckless, but we, you know, we we end up with cute results. All right. The sleeve again, not the best, not the best, you know. But we are. Oh God, this is this is kind of it's kind of important. Okay, hold on. I don't know why it is when I get to this the bot the undersleeve, it gets weird. It gets very weird. There's one spot on the undersleeve that it always kind of closes up, but it's fixable. But just be mindful when you're doing that undersleeve part. They keep catching me off guard. really be coming for me <laughs> this is a beat up on karma kind of live i see i see what we're doing today i see what we're doing today it's fine i see what we're doing today listen but y'all are invested y'all are invested in this process because y'all sticking around seeing what comes to fruition and i am not mad because i will be the same way all right boom what time is it Three hours of time. Yep. All right, y'all. Let's try this on. Sleeve is definitely uh needs some work, but it's good enough. I'ma still press it out a little bit, even though th there's some puckering that needs to be fixed. No, it don't. Not on this. Sleeve is definitely puckering a bit, but. It's in there. It's in there. That's what matters. It's in there, and we can have we have enough to try on. Sorry, parts canceled. We have enough to try on, people. So thank you for sticking around, all forty-one of you. I appreciate that. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what we're working with. Keep working on them sleeves. I got the egregious puckers out, but there's still some puckering in there, but we can work through that. That's not a big deal. Yeah, what's up? We have Auntie Carol, it's a whole entire muslin, and I don't have it lined. Let me let me get her these strings. Let me get these strings off before she has a whole entire fit. Let me clip these strings off before she has a fit, y'all. Well, not all of them, just some of them. Just some of them. Let's not let's not get up let's not OD here, okay? This is a muslin after all. Let's not let's not get beside ourselves. There you go, Auntie. I'm I'm clipping them.
But I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm proud of it. We about to see the, the level at which this back is out though. We about to see the full entire level at which we all letting it hang out. Okay. Okay. Go. Child, you be everything gives you anxiety. You know they got pills for that. And they work wonders, okay? Lexapro, get into it. Hold on. Is this still on the market? <laughs> get into that Lexapro. <laughs> Don't sleep on it. <laughs> Prozac still is a thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, hold on. Okay. Again, if my lining was here, I wouldn't cut out none of the shit, to be honest. Okay, do one little quick pass over with the iron, one more, then I'll try it on with you guys. Try it on, just doing one more press. One little quick press all the way through. Again, we added all the facings. We did not do any of the linings or welt pockets, but we got a we got a decent amount done in three hours, so I feel like you know this might not be as long of a sew, especially if you could skip them pockets. <laughs> especially if you decide to skip them pockets, this would not be a long sew at all if you decide to skip them pockets. <laughs> but we're not skipping the pockets. You can try them out. Another thing you might want to do if you want to wear this as a dress, closing up that vent in the back. Another very, very plausible option. Uh, that was short in time as well. Um, Erica did say, okay, she said, if you want to make it a dress, she said uh, it curves out in the front. I didn't experience that when I tried it on. We're going to see it when I try it on again with the facings added because the facings were not added before. Um... So, yeah. <laughs> you know I left iron. And that's one I will never stop doing. But, yes, I left iron and will never stop. <laughs> you act like I'm ironing straight on my legs. I have a whole entire ironing board on my legs. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, y'all. Let's see. That's enough. That's all. That's all the strings I'm getting off of me, Carol. I don't have time. Cause I, I'm gonna be right back here tomorrow. All right. Let's try her on, y'all. I don't know why I didn't wear my bob tonight. That was silly. I don't know why I didn't try on my bob. But yeah, this could totally be a shirt. I feel like I should get my bob. I don't know why I be wearing these collar shirts with no bob. Okay.
Okay, so now I see what she means. This does kind of flare out at the bottom. All right. Okay, with the bottom added. So I might want to let it out a little bit. Not might. I need to let it out a little bit at the bottom. Hold on. I need y'all to be my mirror real quick. Ah, shit. Can I should have? Okay. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I made the 14, I did. So the 14 fits at the top. Remember I told y'all I thought it's the skirt portion that I probably need to take out by about a quarter inch. Now she's using mine as the muslin. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. I think it was sitting on my hips a little bit too much. Let me. Working through it. Working through it, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I gotta take this wig off. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. This wig is in the way. I gotta put on a bob wig. Hold on. Okay. 
I'm back. You actually stayed. Okay. I don't know. Every time I wear, I need to wear a collar shirt every time. All right. I know once I put like the interface in my collar, like all that will, you know, whatever. So. Who we're working with? I like it. I wish it, I don't know. I kind of want it to be shorter, but again, it does kind of flare out. So you would have to probably like bring the uh, the pattern piece like around more to sort of close this up. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely uh, this does flare out a little bit. So now I know what she means. Also, I kind of want, thank you, TD. I kind of want it shorter, y'all. Kind of want it shorter. You know what? Either I could shorten it or I could wear a super long. Like I'm I'm no, I'm not an in-between kind of girl. Another thing you could do is extend it to the floor. Um, but yeah, this length is kind of awkward. It it kind of makes it a little matronly for me at this length for me, because I'm short. Um so yeah, I would bring it up probably to about there. So what I would do with my uh, pen is I would mark that. So that's what the purpose of a muslin is. You mark kind of like, you know what? I think the fit would look better up here. Um... Yeah, but I definitely think I'm going to keep it as a blazer. But the only thing is I that would impact the... Uh, yeah. The only thing is that if I make it this short, that would impact the, uh, the, the, um, the pocket. So that's something to also consider. But, you know, we can just shorten the pocket or to Shamir's point. Does the bottom have a flap in it? Hold on. We could just add the the uh, the pockets like that, like the faux flats and not make it a functioning pocket. Okay. I like it. Yes. And you know, like if you're high, if you're taller, I'm five three, just to put it in perspective. If you're taller, you know, you might like like you might like it this length, like as is, but again, I am only five three, so yeah. No pocket is an option as well. I'm gonna see what the McQueen one is, but I I want a pocket though. I do. I like. I think I do want a pocket. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys. I like it. I like it. It's cute. Y'all should make it. So that's how I wouldn't wear it with a bra like that as is. But you know, that's if y'all wanted to do a bra moment, yeah. But I would. Uh, yeah, I think I'm go gonna go with like the racer back um, option or what, whatever. Yeah, yep. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me, everybody. Again, I will be back tomorrow. On tomorrow, I'm only gonna be on live for two hours, so we're only going to construct literally the bodice, not the bottom, the lower part, the bodice. That's it. The bodice, and I don't even think is it bodice in the collar. I think it's only the body. Yeah, the bodice and the collar is all we'll be constructing. So no sleeves, no uh, bottom tier piece. Can you uh, show the side view? Yeah. I just realized that this blazer is a mullet. What does that even mean? 
Can you do an open back bodysuit? Yeah, potentially. Um, or a halter bra, potentially. I'm gonna try it without. Hold on, no. Let me see. Let me see what it gives without the bra. I will do it without the bra, real quick, real quick, real quick. Hold on. And if I have a little nip slip, YouTube, it ain't me. It's blame it on them. Hold on, y'all. I will do it really quick with no. Hold on. Uh, okay. All right. Hold on, y'all. I'll let you know if I can come back on camera like this. Hold on. Let's see what it's giving with no brazier. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. I think I'm good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Of course, I can add tape, but yeah, I definitely need would need to add tape. Hold on. Oh no, it's twisted. This blazer is twisted. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, the blazer is all the way to it still. Hold on. Hold on. All right, all right. Okay. Woo! Oh, definitely. T. T. If you don't fuck with me, just say that, girl. Just say I don't like you, Carmen. I'm just here to. Throw jazz at you. <laughs> just say that, say just say you don't like me. <laughs> All right. Okay. May or may not work. Hold on, y'all. I know I would need to. <laughs> Ray Charles can see that. 
Just trying to give you guys a little vision. Hold on. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Tell me what you need. This is what no take. It's actually not as bad as you think it is. But no, I will definitely add tape. Um, again, I will probably do a a, a power mesh bodysuit that match my skin color. But this is how it looks in the back. So that's how it looks on the side. And the, and the tank sometimes gives out. <laughs> so if it gave out, this is what it would give. So it's not, you know, you should make it a white linen. You should. Yeah. What is a towel? What is a towel, Tata? But no, for real, like, this is with no, no, literally no, no bra on. So that's how the back looks. I like it. But yeah, I just need a little, a little boost. <laughs> but honestly, y'all know what take by the end of the night, it falls down. So this is how I will look at the end of the night anyway. I might like, I feel like if I, do, am I bleeding? Lord. Right, I could add a, I, yeah, I might be able to add like a bra or something. Yeah, we can work with this. Like, but my point is it's workable. Like, we can work with this. Like, this is as is, and honestly, it's not like completely like, you know, lacking in support. Not completely. I mean, I, I still need some support, but y'all know when y'all be out all day by the end of the night. <laughs> That's what, this is how it's going to look. So it doesn't look horrible even as like this. I mean, I would prefer for them to be up. But, yeah, potentially add. Thank you, Diane. You think it cut? Yeah, it does cut. Yeah, I see what you mean. It cut. It does cut deep. You can fill this in a little bit, though. You can fill that in a little bit. Like, you might want to take this down a little bit more. You can adjust the pattern piece fairly easily to do that. I don't know where the front is, but... Yeah, you can adjust this front. So, for the front bodice... You, what you could do is you can bring this part down, like straight down. Like maybe add, so this is a side seam here. So you could bring it down, maybe fill it in. Right, add more here. And you can have just like a little peekaboo. Like, so still have some, you know, out there, but if you didn't want that V out like that, you can kind of move that over a little bit. Thank you, Kate. See, so yeah, just bring it out a little bit like that. Not completely, like still sort of keep that slant. But just extend that line a little bit. Yeah, just add a little bit more on the side because it, it is cutting. It is, it is cutting. All right, y'all. I'm done now. I'm done for real. Thank you so much. I hope that you guys can join me tomorrow. And then again on Saturday, hopefully Shishi will have time to join me on Saturday um, and just catch up to where I am. But yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing just the bodice. Saturday, we'll focus on the bottom part. And then on next Wednesday, we'll be wrapping up with the sleeves. But thank you all again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, this is cute. Y'all can do it. Y'all can do it. All right, y'all. Thanks so much again for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Appreciate you all. Have a great night and get those ideas flowing and we can talk about them some more tomorrow. Thank you, Brooklyn Timmy. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Sin. Thank you, Pete, Brianna. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs>
Where's my outro? Where's my outro?